In this video, I will demonstrate a new site called Azure Resource Explorer. And anyone with an Azure account can access it at resources.azure.com. The purpose of this site is to make it really easy to discover and learn the Azure API while actually viewing your own account. Um, so here, top level, I can see my subscriptions. And a, a key concept of this site is that the tree on the left always exactly matches the shape of the Azure API. So here I'm just looking at subscription. So it's slash subscription with, with some API version. If I drill into it, I can see my resource groups. Uh, I have a couple in there. If I go to the first one here, I have some scheduler objects. Uh, I can see, for instance, a job collection. And as I make requests, again, again, you see the shape of the URL exactly matches what you see uh, in the tree here. And at the bottom, you see the JSON that gets returned from the response. So the tool is very, very raw, very low level. Uh, I also have a website here, actually a couple of websites. And if I go to this one, I can see uh, all the various properties. Another interesting thing is that there is a documentation tab. So you'll see a lot of properties you won't recognize. On the documentation, it tells you what they're about. Um, if I go back to here, another key concept uh, is that there is a search box. So you may have a subscription with a lot of resources in it. If you want to directly go to one of them, uh, for instance, I have a site called just test site and boom, you type a few letters and it goes right there. Makes it very, very easy to directly uh, drill down to a specific resource. Going back to uh, this first site that we were looking at before, in addition to just viewing, uh, doing get requests, you can actually do action. So if I go to the second tab here, uh, I could, for instance, stop my site or start my site. Uh, pretty much any action that is available on the site uh, will be available here. You can also use this tool to make changes to uh, your object. So if I click this edit button here, uh, actually, let's drill down to more of the configuration of the site. There is this site config web, which again, you know, the, the shape matches exactly. So site, name of the site, config web. Uh, let's say that I have my list of default documents and I'd like to uh, add one. Well, I could just simply go and edit the JSON and put some random hello.htm. I click put and that's it. My site configuration is updated. You can also go and create objects. The way you would do that is, uh, let's go for instance, create a, a server farm, which is a sort of a container for sites. You click on this create uh, tab here, and let's call it my uh, hosting plan. App hosting plan is the, is the name for server farm. Server farm is more of the API name. And uh, if I just do put on here, just to show you error handling, because we're like, pretty much just doing a put on this API and it's telling us, well, the location property is required. So I need to go here and um, say, for instance, West US. And I have just created um, a web hosting plan. If I go back to the tab here and do a get, uh, we see my new object. Now I can create a site within that hosting plan by going to the create tab again and same deal except now I specify the name of the hosting plan and again the location. Let's call it TAMP, some random name. Oh, and it's telling me that uh, I have, uh, I don't have the right server farm name because I actually call, just called it MHP. So let's go and correct that. And I have now uh, created my site. So hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea what this tool is about. So it, it's really a combination of learning about the API, kind of discovering the shape and just trying things. It, it's really learning by trying. Um, and I should also mention this project is open source. And in fact, if you click on your name here and go to give feedback, it will take you straight to our uh, GitHub project where you can uh, open issues or even uh, potentially do pull requests and, and make changes into the product. Thank you.